Independence police have not announced any arrests yet. In an early morning homicide, investigators said one person was shot to death at the Cedar Brook Apartments. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan is there right now. Charlie, do police have any idea about a motive for this deadly shooting? At this point, that is still one of the questions that police are hoping to answer and solve in this case. We actually saw investigators kind of go door to door inside the apartment complex and even walk outside of the apartment complex here and talk to folks inside their homes, asking them if they saw anything out of the ordinary, if they'd heard anything, just looking for any sort of clue that could point them in the right direction. Police, of course, want to find out who had a gun and who was shooting it here around 4 o'clock this morning at the Cedar Brook Apartments. They say that shooting killed one person and injured a second person, sending that second person to the hospital. Police have not identified the victims in this case. They've also not shared with us a suspect description, although we think police may have been able to get a few leads by speaking with folks here at the apartment complex immediately after the shooting who may have witnessed the shooting or may have known the victims uh, had some sort of connection to them. Now, this is still an active scene, an active investigation here in Independence at the apartment complex. There's still three police cars uh, back there uh, near the apartment where this happened. They're keeping us off the apartment property, though, so it's a little ways behind me. I did speak with a police spokesperson here in Independence who confirmed to me that a dog also died in this shooting. Reporting live in Independence, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.